when it's early on, especially if it's just like say you and your partner living at home mm -hmm. by yourself and there's like nobody else there, um, especially when they're small like that, like. So, like, after my daughter was born, I had postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I really didn't, like, actually realize this until a year later where I started talking to my mom about it. And she was like, oh, yeah, that happened to me, too. And I'm like, mom, I should have spoke about this earlier. But it really ha gave me feelings like, yo, I have to, like, get away for a second and just take a breather. And I would just go to the bathroom. I'd leave my daughter in her crib where she was safe and just run to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Times where she wouldn't stop crying. And it's like nothing that I would ever do to hurt her. It wasn't like that. It was more so I had a fear of her dying or something happening to her, or me dropping her, or something that I did that would cause her harm. Right. And like on accident, obviously, not like not purposely, you know, but it made me want to get away. And then I just realized like I had to kind of, how do you say, like it's okay to get away, but like you also have to deal with it because regardless, however long I stay in the bathroom, she's still gonna be crying. Right. I still gotta deal with still it. Still gotta, yeah. And um, one thing that I really kind of helped that helped me get away was like doing things for myself, like cooking for myself, or like doing the art. You know what I'm saying for myself. After she fell asleep, I'm like, damn, I'm tired. But you know what? I have to stay up so that way I could do something for myself. So it's like, all right, am I gonna go get some sleep because I'm really tired? Or am I going to stay up and watch a movie or just do something where I could be alone? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like enjoy my own time and really get back to like knowing myself. Um, and just little things, like little things that give me joy. Reading a book or going outside for a little bit and just sitting on my porch. You know, um, I love astronomy. Like now, like mm -hmm. when my daughter's sleeping, I go outside. It'll be like midnight, one in the morning. I'm going outside and I'm looking at the stars. You know, so I'll, I take that kind of little things because it helps me be a better parent, I think. Because then I'm not running on an empty cup. I feel like I need to take care of her. But I also have to f make time to take care of me because I can't be good if I'm not, I don't know, like I'm not full. Like I'd rather my child have a happy parent than like like a drained, miserable one. I don't know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. No, no, that, 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 that's powerful. And that's, I feel like what we need to do more, and even with... Like the person you're with. Because when I was thinking about it, when they, when they were talking about it on the podcast, it's like, if you ever really do look back, like I looked at, you know, previous, past relationships and stuff like that, and you look at other people's relationships, it's like, damn, how often do they actually spend with each other? Like just then without the kids. Oh, yeah. And then you think it's about, hard. too, you know how many toxic relationships are out there? Mm -hmm. And like a lot of times that will really be the glue to a toxic relationship. As a child, you're saying? Yeah, because it's like, it kind of distracts you. Mm -hmm. from the other person like everything could be so toxic but you, the kid because you both have genuine love for the kid so if you're good to the kid it's like that's that kind of the glue so you still mm -hmm. stay with each other for so long so much longer than you probably need to be or should be well, because yeah. of the kid I, I get what you're saying no you're i mean you're right we could all attest to that i mean i, I mean if we're, if our if your parents you know or even like you could see somebody in your life that maybe their parents got divorced or something and you know like they but they stayed together for a long time because of the kids. Yeah. 